<laughs> oh, I just thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I will try to not cry the whole time also because this is such a milestone for me. And thank you, Byron and Teresa. They kind of, they're pushing me out of the nest. They kind of took me into their nest. And they've just been encouraging me so much to pursue sharing my work. And um, I'm really grateful. There's so many people in this room that have inspired me and encouraged me. I think that's the biggest thing, is just all the life-giving words that you've all given to me. Okay. Um, also, just grateful to God that uh, he gives me the abilities and opens doors for me to share, too. So, yeah, all of these pieces mean so much to me. And um, I had attended some shows here, watched other artists, you know, talk about things they're passionate about, and that kind of put the fire in my belly. I wanted to... Up until that point, I'd been painting pieces that stood on their own. You know, I just do one subject at the time, and I wanted to put a series together that really meant something to me. And so I, I wrestled with that for a while, what that would be. Um, I haven't been a professional artist claiming to be for a really long time. And so even just sitting down to write out my artist bio, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> and um, my mom actually, her, and, and my husband both, uh, we're listening ears along a lot while I was talking through, you know, what what I'm passionate about. I guess it became clear, and I decided to just start painting and start. I'll get into what where the coffee came from maybe after a little bit, but uh, <laughs> um, I had planned to just focus on the people that have really meant a lot to me, inspired me. Um, Looking at the way our world is these days, you know, just the importance of genuine relationships mm -hmm. and people taking time for one another, that was really pressing to me. And so um, I hadn't intended to name um, this series at all until I was more into it, but the name just dropped on my lap. I just, common ground, hit, hit me in the face. <laughs> and I couldn't get away from it. I thought, that's what I want this to be about. And um, specifically, I'm not, favoring any people, but these two pieces um, were kind of, I guess, the focal point of it for me. And I had planned um, to start with this piece. Um, this is my husband's grandpa, and I feel silly saying that because he's kind of my grandpa. And um, I, I guess I'll just talk about his character. It's, I don't <coughs> want to do portraiture of people just for the, just doing people. He really stood out to me as just a really unique person. Anybody that knew him, um, if you were in his presence for more than like five seconds of pause, he'd be talking to you and getting to know you because that's just, he really cared about people. He was humble enough, you know, to put himself out there and visit just with anybody. And I really admire that, you know, <coughs> if I can be brutally honest, it's hard for me to be on this soapbox of, um, how we need to be genuine and care about people because I'm not the perfect example of that and I mean nobody's perfect but he really stood out to me I just really admired his bravery you know really just and humbleness to really care about people and get to know them and just help them not feel invisible you know um, so I had planned to do this piece and uh, had the, the reference already it was all set to go and actually he passed away the same week that I started painting. So that was, it really probably looked like his passing is what, um, you know, started me on this, but it, it wasn't. That was actually probably more of what almost stopped me <laughs> on it because it, it was very surreal, you know, just coming to terms with that and also staring at him for so long. And, um, for all of these pieces, um, it was just a joy for me to just have the time to reflect on on each person and um, I guess I feel like it's hard to be an artist for a long time and not somehow think about the issue of mortality <laughs> and how there's so much beauty you know and then and yet we're in this cycle where it passes and, and that's just a very profound subject and, and I was really just taken by that while well, I, I did each and every one of these. Um, I decided I wasn't going to go through every piece here tonight, every story, because we'd be here <laughs> a long time. So there, I, I printed off 
a couple of booklets that are on that table if if you don't get a chance to talk to me or, or whatever um, you can read some of the stories that are in there and I will also be I also post them on my website and I will be on social media too posting each of those stories now that I kind of revealed them um, I do plan to continue this series this is certainly not every person that I, I wish to paint and you know I didn't set out to do just family but I guess that's what I had access to that was what was pressing on me and there's actually a few faces you might be able to tell by the timeline but um, there's a few faces in this that of people that I never met but um, I just felt I guess the relevance of how they made an impact you know they made it they blazed a trail they, they're somehow connected to my family and my life and um, so I wanted to include them for that so I think um, well the, all the titles are, are on there I was gonna name all the titles too but you can read them <laughs> um, yeah I guess why coffee is one of the main questions that I've been getting and uh, I guess going back to the beginning of the first coffee painting I did it's not the most romantic story that it could be I wish it was more profound but um, basically I've been doing digital painting and I, I still am but I really wanted to be more textile I just wanted to hold a paintbrush and see what I could do and I have four little kids and it's very difficult to have paint around I had I was pulling out what I had in my art supplies and I had just dried up tubes of paint <laughs> and I had seen somewhere uh, I'd seen a, a, a lady on Pinterest that had stained with the bottom of her coffee cup a large barrel out of circles from her coffee cup and I had seen that and I, so I knew that coffee can somehow work and so I had instant coffee at home and I just wanted paint so I did <laughs> and uh, it felt really great <laughs> um, yeah I never would have seen this coming I didn't realize I was going to continue with that medium and um, I don't use instant coffee anymore um, these are all I chose three different coffee brands. Um, one is Tim Hortons coffee, another is called Generous Coffee, and another, the, the third one is called Rogue Coffee Company, and they are um, brewed right in Saskatchewan, in Saskatoon, actually. Um, I chose her <coughs> coffee blend, so. I kind of chose, I, I don't know if I can explain exactly why, but um, I kind of assigned what, a different company to a different character I just felt the fit so yeah um, I'm not really sure <laughs> what else to say um, besides I'm just so blessed by all of you here I'm so oh, like, just blown away to see my pieces treated like this and all together like this um, yeah every person is, um, there's a big story behind it to me and I I just look forward to doing more um, not that long ago, I tried to do a portrait of a famous person who I won't name, but um, I was trying to get a print of it and I actually pursued licensing. I guess I needed copyright to do that person's face. <laughs> and so I tried to pursue getting it and um, they told me that I should have hired a real artist <laughs> to do it. So I never really thought I could do portraiture. <laughs> and yet I. I guess that's one thing I realized when I was talking to my mom and my husband a lot um, about what I wanted to do. My sketchbooks, that's all that's in them. It's people, that's just what I feel, I, I just love to do. And, um, yeah, so that brought that one. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could take some questions if anyone has any. You said that those two were like the ones you want to focus on. Can you talk about the other ones? Yes, okay. So, um, I'm, it might be obvious this is a couple, and this young lady is here tonight. <laughs> um, her name is Verna, and um, I, these two are just a team in that, what I was talking about with Grandpa. Um, for him to be able to visit and uh, be so hospitable to people, he definitely, she was definitely, you know, the backbone of that, <laughs> um, the unsung hero of that, and. Um, I, I kind of wrote about this story. She's holding a cake pan in this picture because uh, she had this fake, she still has this famous chocolate cake that she was making multiple times a week. And they figured out that probably over the years she made 
um, probably well over a kilometer of, if you lay cakes in it, <laughs> of these chocolate cakes. And she, they were just always ready to invite people into their home, into their life. They had perfect strangers at their Christmases. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel kind of bad just, just praising them and not everybody else, but they really, I think that was the kickstart of this whole series, and I can see these qualities in, in all these people in my life.